21 year old James Charles has been accused of grooming a 16 year old TikToker and has fully denied the claims in a Twitter post. You're watching Pink News and today we're explaining the recent James Charles grooming allegations. Number 5. Over the weekend of February 26th, 16 year old TikToker Isaiah posted a now deleted TikTok that appears to show James Charles sending him sexually explicit messages and images on Snapchat. After sending me that first picture of his body, um, explicitly, he sent me multiple after that, and I'll post them now. I was getting really uncomfortable, so I told him my age. I told him I'm 16. Meanwhile, he's 21. He's a grown man. And then he proceeds to say, oh, but I didn't even get to see the, yeah, meaning my body. And after telling him, like, no, like, I'm not going to send it to you, he kept on asking for pictures and videos of body hair and me flexing and stuff. He proceeded to ask to FaceTime me, which I then said no to, and then I asked why, and this is what he said. Did you know fishing? It's sad to say that I can't even look up my biggest influence the same again. I've heard multiple stories about him doing this to people, but you never believe it until it happens to you. So now, I'm a big believer of what James Charles does to other people, and it sucks because he has so much going for him, and he does this to himself. Number 4. In a tweet, Isaiah states, If you're gonna text someone, make sure you know their age. He added me on Insta. My Insta has my TikTok, which shows my age, at James Charles. To which, a Twitter user replied, LMAO, not you doing this. You added him first, and now are bringing it to him for adding you. To which, Isaiah was quick to respond, I added him years ago. He just recently added me on Insta and then accepted my snap request. Number 3. Many Twitter users accused the TikToker of completely fabricating the story for clout, with one stating, You told and now you are telling him to make sure they know their age when you f***ing told him you were 18, but you are 16. Oh my f***ing god, the things people do for clout, shaking my head. Others took to Isaiah's side, tweeting, most of these comments did not pass the vibe check. Not y'all victim blaming a literal child, and we are supposed to believe James with him showing not a single shred of proof, while this kid has been showing receipts. Come on. It's on James as a person in power to do his damn research. Isaiah then posted a video of himself opening a Snapchat from James Charles in real time, in which he claims James's Snapchat caption reads, Just watch you show off and look hot as f Number 2. A few hours after the video started getting attention, James came forward with a statement on Twitter, in which he confirms, Grooming and pedophilia. There's a video going round about me on TikTok and Twitter of a guy calling me a groomer and I want to address it right away. The accusation that I have groomed this person is completely false. Last week, I came across someone on my Instagram explore page, saw he followed me and added him on Snapchat. What happened was not okay. After false allegations like this in my past, I would never knowingly engage with anyone underage and put my life on the line for a few Snapchats. Because of situations like this, instead of taking someone's word for it, I will now ask to see the ID or passport of every guy I have a conversation with. Number 1. The TikToker then replied to James's tweet with a screenshot showing that he had blocked James on Snapchat, stating, James, we both know I blocked you. You never asked for my age. Throughout my whole After I told you I was 16, you proceeded to ask for nudes and said it didn't matter. You called me hot and said, I wish the timeline could speed up so you can be 18. Then, on Monday 1st of March, James replied to a user whose tweet is now unavailable since they have recently privated their account. In James's reply, he states, I'm not trying to get out of anything. No matter what happened, it was unacceptable, embarrassing, and I should have taken the extra steps to research the person I was talking to. There is no excuse. This is on me.